Hello everybody, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. And what I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. Today what I want to talk about is my new rope. I bought a blue moon. Um, but before I talk about my blue moon, I'll tell you about the silver ivy. Um, the reason I want to talk about the silver ivy because it's a real great line. It's a double braid. It's got a 24 strand coat and it has a braided interior. So um, it's rated at 6,500 pounds and it's, uh, uh, it's a, a rope that you can use for MRS and SRS. And that's, that brings me back to the reason I bought it. So my ecstatic, I can put my rope runner on my ecstatic and it works great. But I want a line where I can use my rope runner pro on MRS and SRS if I wanted to. And with this Silver Ivy, at first when I put it to this, it was working pretty darn good. After a little bit of use, some time starts passing, now my Rope Runner Pro starts sliding on this. So, um, I love this line, it really knots well, but that brings me back to this, uh, the Blue Moon. So the Blue Moon's almost a carbon copy of the Silver Ivy, except for the texture of, of this. It is a double braid. It has a 24 strand coat and it has a braided polyester core. Um, when you fill it, it's really pliable, but it's a little bit uh, harder of a outer cover than the Ivy. So I'm hoping maybe that'll be something that'll help um, in it not running with the rope runner. They're both 11.7 millimeter lines. So, I mean, really they're like a carbon copy, both rated 6,500 pounds and they're both double braids. So, uh, yeah, that's what I want to talk about. I want to go up a little bit and see if this will hold. All right, let's get to it. Now that I have my rope runner connected, I'm going to go up a little bit, put some weight on it, and I'm going to see if, if it holds up, if it runs. Um, the setting that I have it on right now is th that the setting that I'd use for my ecstatic. And, and remember, like with my ecstatic, this thing is awesome. It doesn't run, it, it holds, it runs smooth, but the, the only thing is the ecstatic is a um, SRS line only I can't really do double rope I might have to have my rope runner pro just to use my ecstatic line but I was hoping to have one that I could use it for a little bit more so here we go all right all right I'm gonna sit back right. let's see what happens Hmm. Nice. Let me see. So, as it runs up, it's always a smooth piece of equipment. Go out on a limb. Nice. Actually, it's working exactly the way it's supposed to. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll descend down and I'll see if I let off or, you know, if I start to descend and then I let go, if it'll still hold. Let's see. Okay, here it goes. Now watch. Okay, now, see how it's running? Yeah. So it looked like it was doing great. So now, what I have is, it's not holding. So, I'll give it an adjustment, and we'll see um, if I can make it better. <laughs> All right. So, I got a Allen wrench here. I'll just leave it on. See if I'll probably make it tighter on top. Other side. Break it. I'm gonna flip it this side. Okay. Move it up. Maybe.
All right, my hands are shaking. There it goes. Snugging it up. Okay. I really can't see without my glasses. I think I got it on the top setting. Well, let's see how well this works. Connect it back to my chesty here. Oops. Wrong glove. Put my gloves on backwards, that ain't gonna work so good. <laughs> there you go. Alright. Let's see what happens with this. So at least, like, it's locking in nicely. Let's see what happens when I get up a little higher. Okay. I'm gonna undo this, my foot ascender. Now my chesty. And I'll see if I can <laughs> descend. Pretty tight. All right, cool. So. All right. All right. It has a little bit of creep. Um, I think I have my, the bird bullard a little bit off. But actually, let's see. Yeah, a little bit of creep, but it's still working. There you go. I have this. So this side is a little bit off. I'll loosen it and I'll tighten it up. Tighten it up and see if that makes a difference. Even though I'm tightening it, it's working great. I think what I'll have to do is use this a little bit more often and then see how it works after, you know, some time. I mean, with Ivy, it was great working great with the Ivy. And then, <laughs> and then it just started sliding. Even if I went to the top, and I uh, put it to the very top setting, I was still running on me. I'm wondering, is the harder coating of this blue moon, if it will make a difference. All right. Off the foot ascender. See how it goes. See if it'll break. So it feels a little bit harder to to break, it might be something. Yeah, yeah. So, that. yep. There it goes. It's really hard to uh, to break it. Let's see. So maybe I'll have to adjust some more. But I think for now I'm gonna leave it and see. What happens at this adjustment? See if it uh, will later loosen up or maybe run a little bit more freely. Well, there you go. So when I was talking about the, these two ropes are like a carbon copy of each other, then in some ways they really are. I think the big difference is the way the coat feels more solid than, than this is softer. But um, when it comes to how they work, you know, like just tying a regular old figure eight it's really a nice setup, a figure eight. And if you want to do like a bullen or even, yeah, like a bullen, it really works well. Like it's smooth enough to do, you know, they really easy to work with. And same with this, this is super easy to work with for me. So like even the figure eight, to make the figure eight really nice. And if I want to make a bowling or whatever knot you want to use, they're really nice to work with. You know, this guy, this Silver Ivy, really, really nice. It's really good on your hands. If you're a guy who likes um, no gloves, this is really great. This is a little bit harder though, um, but same movability when it comes to ropes. These guys are like carbon copies of each other. 65,000 pounds rating, 11.7 um, millimeter. But I think right now, um, this is going to be my new rope runner rope. We'll see what happens. I'm going to give it some time. I may leave it on the setting right now, even though it's really hard. Maybe it'll like loosen up some, give it some time and see if I can do MRS and MRS with this without having to do adjustments. 
Um, when I have it on the ecstatic, it's basically stuck on the ecstatic and I can't use it on anything else. And my ecstatic is basically a an SRS line, so I can't do both. Anyhow, both really great ropes. This blue moon I'm excited about and I'm going to give it a try and see how well it works with my Rope Runner Pro and, and all my other pieces of equipment. A while back ago, we I did a video on whipping with contractor string. You guys might want to check it out. More recently, when I bought my Blue Moon here, I had some uh, heat shrink tubing, so I decided to give it a try um, and see how well sh heat shrink tubing works as a whipping. You guys might want to check it out. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos with your friends. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.